I'm Shorty and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm heading over to B1 Skate Park to film this video which will be on 50-50 stalls. A 50-50 stall has both feet resting on the trucks with one foot in front of the other. When learning a 50-50 stall or grind, the first thing you need to decide is which way you want to turn and which foot you want to have in front. It's really up to personal preference, but I'll show you two different ways to learn depending on which foot you want in front. So my preferred way is to turn left with my left foot behind. This makes it easier to exit, but harder to get into the stall. If you turn left with your right foot behind, it's easier to stall, but harder to exit. So if you want to turn right, you just need to mirror the moves. First, you should be confident in plate stalling with fakie out, plate stalling and 180 out, and airing past the coping. Step 1. First, practice getting comfortable with the 50-50 body positioning and entering back into the transition. Step 2. Get comfortable box stalling with your left foot on the trucks and your right foot on the slide block. It's easiest to fakie exit. Step three, do a box stall, and once you feel secure, step your right foot in front of your left foot, pause, and then exit. Continue to practice this step until you can do it confidently and without hesitation. Step four, time for the 50-50 stall. It's important that you have enough speed and height to jump up and land on top of the coping. Depending on the height of your ramp, you may need to pump the transition to give you that extra pop. Don't forget to spot your landing. For this version, you'll need to be confident in 180 stalling. I'm not sure this is the best way to teach this, but it will help you practice landing your back foot. Step 1. Practice getting comfortable with the 50-50 body positioning and entering back into the transition. Step 2. Get comfortable doing a 180 box stall with your right foot on the trucks and your left foot on the slide blocks. Step 3. Do the box stall and once you feel secure, step your left foot in front of your right foot into a 50-50 stall and then exit forward. This might seem a little overkill to turn your left foot 180 and then turn it back to 90, but I tried to do a forward box stall and turn my right foot the 90 degrees, but it just felt a little awkward. So I feel the 180 box stall to 50-50 step feels more deliberate in your foot placement, so hopefully it might help you. Step 4, time to do the 50-50 stall. Again, it is important to have enough speed and height to jump up and land on top of the coping. Don't forget to spot your landing. If you have toe stops, be mindful that they may catch on the coping. This happens to me on my back foot if I have too much weight on my front foot. I have to think about keeping my legs bent and sitting back into my back leg a little bit more. This is why I like to practice landing my back foot in the 50-50 position first and then bringing my front foot around. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video if you found it helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more skating tips and tricks.